everybody, what's going on? Fabian for Liberty, Fabian Calvo, reporting on the confirmed case of Ebola in Dallas, Texas. The first patient X has arrived to America, Ebola America, if you will. And this is uh, shouldn't really shock anyone. I talked about this uh, about two months ago, uh, warning that basically there would be a patient X arriving in America and it would likely continue to spread. Now the top uh, chief scientist, former chief scientist for the Food and Drug Administration has come out and basically said that many more will be infected. Now, why do I say um, it's pretty much an easy call? Because a lot of people say, oh, well, we warned you, you know, three months ago, four months ago. And yes, I mean, technically I said that too. But really, uh, there's a pretty good indicator for figuring out um, whether or not this Ebola case was going to spread, or for that matter, whether, you know, ISIS was going to take over uh, large swaths of Iraq, or whether uh, the Benghazi scandal wasn't really a scandal, but it turned out to be a scandal. And basically, that little metric that I like to use is everything this criminal government tells you, just expect the exact opposite. So when Obama says Ebola in America or the CDC says Ebola in America is not a problem, it's not going to spread, consider the fact that it will likely spread. When they tell you Benghazi is not a scandal, then internal documents released and whistleblowers come out and say it's a scandal, it's a scandal. So you get, you get the point, okay? When they say that the president is safe after they basically allowed uh, these two you know, people to crash the party back in 2009, this White House party, and then we have a report of dozens of breaches of security around the president, including the latest, a convicted armed felon in an elevator with the president of the United States. Just know that, I mean, basically, uh, well, I, you know, I've already talked about that at length, how this president's life is in serious danger uh, by those that protect him. And let me just add, before I get into the Ebola thing, ladies and gentlemen, that when I posted a video the other day about o Obama, I'm going to talk more about this on the podcast today because it's a very big story, not getting enough coverage. But apparently the day this born identity former returning vet uh, runs around the White House with a knife in his hand, um, he, uh, the, the alarm system that monitors that part of the White House was mysteriously shut down. Ooh, isn't that the front door unlocked and the alarm system just was deactivated that day? No big deal. I mean, whatever. You know, the fact they have a female guard guarding the entrance and the the, the guy who breaks in just pushes her aside. No big deal. Totally fine. Uh, no, no accountability. No one's been fired. Totally cool. And it's just like this Ebola case. Now, France and England, to their credit, have suspended all incoming flights from Western Africa. Now, I said that three months ago. Hey, probably be a good idea that, uh, you know, if, if they could uh, monitor my Facebook posts, they could likely... Uh, monitor the flight manifestos of who's coming in from what countries. Just don't let them in the country. Just basically send out a signal or a message to these countries. Hey, if you're flying abroad, we're not going to let you into America, period. In fact, we're not even going to let planes enter U.S. airspace that are carrying West Africans and put it on the actual carriers as well. Find the carriers. Delta American Airlines, if you bring someone in and you're not checking your, your, your flight manifest as well, we're finding you a million dollars plus for everybody that we bring in. I mean, it would be so easy. I could lock that down in probably 24 hours or less. But here again, gang, we have a government that not, not it's, it's not even because a lot of people will look at this and say, well, they're just incompetent or, you know, Obama's stupid. No, no. They work for the criminal banks that have hijacked the country. They consolidate power by spreading uh, chaos that, you know, remember, I've said this for some time now that the globalist, it's like if you had a Petri dish and you had chaos in there, uh, or, you know, it's like you grow mold in the Petri dish. It's like, it, it like blows up in the, in the Petri dish, it mold grows. That's how the globalists grow their power is by growing chaos, spreading chaos and chaos around the world right now. I mean, the world is literally on fire right now. And now we have confirmed cases of Ebola in Texas, in Dallas. By the way, North Texas has a population of over 10,000 Liberians. And um, this is incredible. Dow Jones down 200 points today. Could be an indicator that the big banksters know that they are going to roll this out. And I'm not saying that millions are going to die from Ebola in America. I don't know. But I don't know. 
I really, nobody knows. I mean, it's hard to tell when you have an incubation period of 21 days. The patient X actually went into the hospital four days ago complaining of a fever. He, they're like, yeah, here, take some uh, antibiotics. They were like, hey, wait a minute. Um, uh, are, you, uh, are you from Liberia? Are you from Africa? Where are you from? Because, and this might be racist, but, you know, black Americans look different by and large than actual uh, Africans. I mean, they're distinctly different. Uh, in their facial features, in the, in the, you know, the complexity of their skin color and all of that. Uh, just a good idea. Hey, have you been out of the United States? Oh, yeah, I was in Liberia two weeks ago. Oh, crap, let's maybe quarantine you. You see, it is, it is beyond incompetence. It is criminal what we're witnessing right now. Uh, 50 years ago, heck, 20 years ago, uh, the old president would have been impeached. Um, and major staff around the CDC and everybody else would have been fired, maybe even put on trial for what they've done to this country. Now, this isn't just about Ebola, though, because we now have a mysterious virus that supposedly now has claimed the life of at least one child, uh, making kids paralyzed, and it would be very easy to track, just monitor that virus and test it against the illnesses and viruses that are sweeping Central America uh, and Mexico from Obama's illegal kids that he brought in that have now been deployed to almost all 50 states at the public schools, likely spreading that disease to our kids or your kids if they go to public schools. So this is uh, absolutely criminal. There's nothing else that you can, uh, that you can call it. Um, also, another quick thing that I wanted to mention, too, is the Ebola vaccine, interestingly enough, is being all ramped up now because a year ago there was no market for it. But now, hey, Ebola spreading like crazy. So you better believe Big Pharma is getting ready to pump out those Ebola vaccinations. And, um, you know, this is uh, as someone who studied the Spanish flu. Um, let me tell you, the Spanish flu, ladies and gentlemen, uh, in 1919, you had, uh, you know, 19, 16, 17, it took about three years to spread. There was an airplanes back then. There weren't, the, 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 the pace of travel back then was very slow. It was mostly ships. I mean, there was trains as well. Um, and it still spread around the world, killing tens of millions. At the height of the Spanish flu, you had 20 to 30 people dying a day. In Los Angeles, that's what the coroner reports were saying, 20 to 30 a day. And today we live in a world that is so interconnected, it is just, I mean, you know, obviously you already know that. So patient X confirmed in Dallas, I warned of this uh, months ago, uh, called for travel to be banned, Obama should be impeached, of course none of that will happen. And again, just to kind of give you one, because I'm often asked, Fabian, tell us about your forecasting. Tell us how you, where do you get your news? How do you come up with these ideas about what's going to happen? Very simple. I'm going to give you my secret sauce here. Whatever the government tells you, whatever, just plan for the exact opposite to happen. I'm Fabian Calvo, Fabian for Liberty. Remember, you could opt in. Give me your email address at fabianforliberty.com or fabiancalvo.me. You'll be one of the first to receive uh, my daily podcast, my The Fabian Calvo Show. A new episode today will be posted in a few hours. Hope you enjoy it. If you do, please leave a review. Thanks for watching. I'm out.